Hello everyone looking for Lethal League Blaze tutorials and all that. Uh, hopefully you've watched my basic mechanics video. Uh, if not, understand, you know, you don't want to spend 20 minutes watching a video if you already are okay. You know, if you're like number, you know, if you're 1000 and down, you don't need to watch that video. All right, go ahead and skip that. Today, I will be demonstrating uh, advanced mechanics. <laughs> and this truly could just be titled How to Ball Control 101, right? But I call it advanced mechanics because I'll probably mention a few other mechanics that you should know on certain characters so <coughs> sorry uh, so here you go this is these are things that you need to learn if you want to progress you and you want to come and yep, you want to be yep. a lot more people uh before i start off i do it every video this is literally like two minutes after i recorded the basics by the way you know number 102 i'm not the best i can't beat Met metrakek or metrakek however you say his name i can't beat him I'll be honest, if we play 10 games, I might take one if he messes up. I can't beat him at all, though. So I'm not as good as him, but I figure I'm good enough to show you everything you need to learn because I can execute it, if, even if I can't execute it well. I can do it well enough. I see a lot of people in Rocket League that are like champ two or three making tutorial videos, and they're not even grand champ, right? So here we go. This is just... You know, like I said, ball control yep. 101, but I'll title it yep. Advanced Mechanics because yep. I'll mention a few things. Yep. So, yep. to start yep. off, this is one of the most important mechanics. Go over here to Stage Select. You probably already know. Find a stage that you love the music on. For me, I love Pixel Lord and I love Dr. Laser. Uh, I cannot get enough of the music on this stage. Who doesn't love Ordinary Days? Uh, and the only other stage I really like the music on is uh, this one. I don't know its name, but I mean, just listen to this. It bangs. You know, starts off real slow, like when you're just getting the feel for the other player, right? And you know, you're just you're feeling them out. You know, you're reading their angle a little bit. Yeah, I love Big Nick. He's so good. And then the beat comes in, right? And the beat drops, boom, right? And you just you get hyped, right? And you you really start over. And, you know, you just, you get a good feeling, you know, it's kind of like any other games that have kind of, you know, crappy music. You know, you, you just get in your zone when you listen to this. It's nice. Well, anyways, I'll go to a stage with less offensive music, a bit quieter over here. And this is How to Ball Control 101, as I said. So, first things first, whatever character you like, I will go through all the characters here, and I'll show you all the ball controls I know. If I don't know them, then, you know, sorry if I look like a fool trying to show you them, because you're probably better than me at them if you play them more. Uh, so what do you need to learn? Uh, learn how your smash attack works. Right? Learn where it goes. Learn how your special works, right? You know, how to do this. But, you know, just come into training and just find out your angles. Uh, so specifically for Candyman, I'll show you, you know, I'll do a tutorial video for him later. But Candyman gets to do stuff like this due to his jump height. And that doesn't look too impressive at high speeds, or I mean at low speeds. But just simple stuff like this. Take the ball, bunt it again. Right, let me get it up to speed for you. And it's okay to miss. You know, tactical misses are perfectly fine, right? You know, if, if you're if you're like you know in top 100 or something, and you want tactical miss, that works a lot. And this is going to involve a lot more ranked play than the other one. Uh, tr trust me, because it's a lot easier to show you advanced ball control by trying to style on someone who's attempting to take your ball. Uh, but when it comes to advanced mechanics, um, stuff like this is what I mean. Right, you just, you just gotta learn where your ball's going. Stuff like that. This video is going to feel a lot more empty than the other one, by the way, because there, there's only so much you can say regarding uh, ball control and stuff like that. But I'll show you for Raptor. And, uh... Are you ready? 
few other people. So, Candyman, you saw, you can start off when it's your life, find out where they are, smash it, bunt, smash, bunt, smash, bunt. Then you get the ball up to speed. It's real good. Uh, then take that candy from there. On Raptor, you can do the same thing for a little bit. Once this ball gets going, uh, it's a little bit harder. But since uh, everyone has a double jump except uh, Doombox, it's now a lot easier. So when it comes to advanced ball controlling, and I can't do anything like Daiatsu. If he makes a tour of it, go watch his instead. Trust me, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot better. Uh, it's just it's muscle memory, and that's it. So I call it advanced mechanics. I'm going to go through and tell you what to do in situations, and then demonstrate them in a ranked game. But basically, you bunt this back. All right, come up here, bunt it back, and then boom, quick turnaround. Quick turnaround. People are going to expect you to hit this into the corner. Up, oh, but instead. You do a quick turnaround just like that, and you hit it into them. And you can do stuff like that. Right? And just follow your ball. Uh, a good one uh, for Raptors specifically is start off, hit a down angle, smash it. And if you still have ball control, you know, like I said, I don't play Raptor very much. You can do stuff like that. But basically, a lot of beating better players than you, believe it or not, is the ability to miss and hit the ball at the right times. Now, there are some people that don't go for bullying plays. What I mean by bullying plays is you're going to bunt this, right? Bunt it again. And then just come in, right, repeatedly. And just, like, like, let's say we start off, right? Wow, I really am not good at Raptor. Um, but stuff like this, just super delaying your actions and doing what they don't expect you to do. It's called conditioning in uh, other fighting games just delay your actions and this doesn't really apply if they're chasing you right you know if, if they're chasing you around trying to bully with you then don't do this uh, when they're trying to bully with you back out and do spread and angle control and if you don't know how to do those I got a video for you coming up in a little bit um, so now like I said it's gonna involve a lot more ranked play so I'm gonna head into ranked. Hopefully I get someone in like uh like Daotsu maybe. Uh, someone in the top ten. Uh, I'll be playing Candyman purely because I care about my rank and I'm very proud of it. Being so close or in the top 100 makes me happy. Uh, so I'm gonna do a few play styles and try to show you uh, mechanics. So this is called Bully. Doing stuff like that, just psychologically ruining your opponent. Turn a taunt in. That was almost a uh, proper play. Right, and when you're bullying someone, you're basically just following them around and trying to steal their ball. And unless you're fighting someone that you can't bully anyway, hey, okay, stuff like that. Just follow them around. I guess it's sort of gonna be a play styles video at this point, right? Um, but bullying involves just fast knowledge of you're not really fast, but know your angles. And stuff like this really psychologically gets to someone. And it will let you get wins against people that might be better than you. That you perhaps don't deserve. Purely because they're not used to someone who plays like this. 
and that's what I was saying earlier in the other video. Just stand where someone's angle ends and just throw a grab. It's really dis- you know, it's- it's, um, it's disorienting to get grabbed like that. So that was bowling. That's the play style I use against anyone who's not uh, close in rank to me. If they have a higher rank than me or they're lower rank than me, it's not worth bullying. And that, that's going to be true at most ranks. Uh, if you're number 300, don't try to bully number 250. He's probably used to that and he'll out bully you. And if I'm using the wrong term, I don't know very much about Lethal League uh, like play style terms. I don't follow the community very much. I just love the game. Uh, so next i'm going to show you the angle and spread slower player if someone tells you this is boring if someone tells you don't do that if someone says oh you know you're camping in a corner or, oh you're just reading spreads and trying to get lucky you're a low skill player right number three and he was number one for a while that's his play style right it's high skill it requires a lot of knowledge and it's riskier than bullying bullying works very often because people don't grab so if someone picks your own character it's best to not try to bully them <laughs> unless they're far below your rank this guy i might be able to bully i want them so i'm going to go for angles this game So an angle play style, you know, it, just reading your own spreads and stuff like that is going to involve uh, just, you know, staying away from your opponent, not chasing them. He might not do it because he might not know how to. Uh, if, if, he, if he doesn't know how to, he won't do it. But if I find someone who bullies, I'll edit it in. And I'll show you why it's better to not try to out-bully someone. Ah, see? That right there, that's bad play. You shouldn't do that. Um, and... You know, I guess you could also call this the slow play style. Right, and it just, it's going to involve just chasing your own angles and sitting at the end of theirs. And when you have ball control, take it, right? And this also involves a lot more movement than another play style. So I'll give you, I'll do another one at that. That wasn't very good. So it, it basically just involves sitting around and trying your absolute hardest to assume that if the ball touches you, you die. Because a lot of people that do this played Lethal League 1 a lot, and in Lethal League 1, you didn't have health. If you got hit, you simply died, right? If you got hit at any speed, one speed, two speed, doesn't matter. You die if you get hit. Uh, so, this is sort of how you had to play unless you were very confident. Uh, one thing I do that other people don't do, I give up ball control a lot doing this play style, and you shouldn't do that. You should maintain your ball control still. If I would have parried there, I also would have killed him, but the reason I didn't parry... Uh, specifically, I didn't think he'd go for it, and I wanted to keep my special. And like I said, just sit under and grab. The worst thing they can do is hit the ball normal, which is going to have a ton of delay, and they might even be uh, inexperienced, and they'll parry again. And when you parry someone's grab, or when you uh, grab someone's parry, only while it's pulsating. If you're slow, you'll get uh, anti-grab, but while it's blue and swirling around their ball... Right. Uh, while it's blue swirling around the ball, if you grab, uh, you go into a little animation and you get to hit them for free with the grab. Uh, if you grab on the back side of them, you teleport in front of them and grab it anyways. Uh, so when you grab, if they bunt, doesn't matter. 
doesn't it doesn't really matter if they bunt, right? That's okay. Just, you know, read it from that angle. You can even grab again if you're really fast. They might try to parry, and you can just run up and grab it again. Uh, that's a risky, you know, rock, paper, scissors play, but it can work. Uh, so grabbing under an angle is never really a bad idea. It's a bad idea right there, clearly, but... I, I wasn't really sure which side that was going on. Jets, I don't see a lot of jet players. So her animation confuses me. So just sitting on the other side of the screen from someone and letting them give you ball control is basically never a bad idea. So, unfortunately, you know, a little bit of host advantage there. Uh, like I said, when someone is going to just run at you and try to steal your ball all the time... Like I said, it's rock, paper, scissors. Try and do that. But. Uh, there, that's timing. If you don't know the timing for that, you'll actually get anti-grab. You know, where it shows that little, like, uh, band symbol. You know, just delay how quickly the ball gets to your opponent if they're looking for it. See, how he was looking for it there. Right? See, like, right there. He delayed it. And by delay, if I would have shot it right at him, it would have given him ball control. If I would have shot it upwards, it probably would have given him ball control because of the position I was in. Shooting it downwards there was the most successful option against someone who's expecting you to shoot it at him. Just delay your ball as long as possible. Oh, we're going to head back to training now, actually. That's kind of the three play styles. And you can interchange those. You can do both at once. Right? You don't have to only do one or the other. Uh, so, when it comes to uh, ball juggling... Yeah, I, basically, that's going to mean stuff like that. Just gra grab the ball. And keep control over it for as long as possible. And also, if you miss your bunt, this is something I can't really teach you. I can just show you for the characters that I know what to do on. Right, I can't really teach you for everyone. But if you miss your bunt, learn how to recover it. So I'll miss my bunt here, but I, I know... Right, that even if I don't <laughs> hit the right action, I can still recover it very quickly and maintain ball control. Um, 
latency, stuff like that. That also delays what your opponent thinks you're doing. Which is quite a good thing. And now, uh, it's sort of Candyman specific, but Candyman's smash angle is the same as his uh, down, or his grounded down angle. Uh, or no, no, it's the same as his uh, down aerial angle. This is true for a lot of characters. Uh, Sonata's, one of her uh, down air angles is the same as her ground down angle. Uh, so it sends it sort of horizontally. Doombox has uh, the same angle on one of his down airs. Uh, but yeah, just go into training and learn what your bunt does and practice purposely missing like that. And learn how to recover it. Uh, uh, so when it comes to other advanced mechanics, what else you can do? Uh, go into training. This is, I, I can just tell you a few of them. Uh, Raptor's up angle. I believe his ground down. Uh, but most characters have angles where it smashes your head. You see Candyman's up air. I mean, uh... Uh, his uh, up uh, up neutral hit, whatever you want to call it, his normal attack where you send it upwards. See how it's hitting just above the corner? If you're standing there and you'll meet players that stand there, that will hit them in the back of the head and it will miss their butt. It'll go over their butt hitbox and actually hit them without them being able to do anything. The only way to react to this is to know that's going to happen and then move forward and turn around and it's very risky especially at higher speeds ground like uh here's another one this lands pretty much just perfectly to dodge the butt a few times in there uh i can't really point out i just know i've been hit by it like while i was actively in butt. uh candy man's that's uh, basically the same as his up air, right? Uh, a, a lot of characters down airs are like that. So Candyman's aerial uh, down angle is this. And this is the same angle as Dice's ult when you release it uh, by holding down or holding left or right. It's the same angle as that. So this angle, I don't believe it has a part where it hits above your bunt. It sort of looks like it does. I haven't experienced it enough uh, to know that because usually I'll read the dice salt rather than sit in the corner and wait for it to come to me. But there are spots here. There are spots there. Uh, so that's that's pretty much all the advanced mechanics there are in the game, you could say. But most of them are just know where your spreads and angle go in order to hit someone, uh, and uh, know what to do in the case of someone better than you. I'll do one more ranked match, and hopefully, uh, the person I'm fighting uh, does the playstyle I asked for. Uh, I guess I'll just give you info while we wait. Uh, I've noticed uh, people who are really good at their character use noise clone. So if you want to feel like the in crowd, don't use noise clone till you're confident. Uh, here we go. Okay, this uh, this guy. He knows what he's doing. That was an incredible read. That, that, was, that was seriously nice. Most people don't expect that little back angle. Well, yeah, that's a little oops moment right there. So he's gonna do it a lot 
better than I can. But notice how he's staying a lot back, right? See, right there. That, that's, anyone who parry spams like I was trying to do there, just run up and grab him. It's a 50-50 that you'll probably win. Ooh, that, that, that was nice. See, he knows his own angle, so he can do stuff like that. When someone's low HP like this, just go bully him. Like, no one's going to dodge that. It's, it's a little dishonorable, but... You know, you gotta do what you need to do to win. Ah, that that was unfortunate. See, he knows that angle so well that I can't just rely on stuff like that. This is a guy I've played before, by the way. Um, That's his biggest shortcoming, is he can't deal with delays. He knows where the angle's going if it's very fast and he can react to it very quickly, but he doesn't know. Um, so something like how he was doing, you notice how he wasn't running in on me and getting parried. He wasn't running in on me and grabbing aside from the one time. He was sitting back, knowing where my angle goes, reading where it lands at, bunting and taking his ball control. If I played against this guy before, I think I have. He, I believe, does the same thing. I think he's a Lethal League 1 player just based on his rank compared to his skill. Are you ready? Uh, so let's see how he does. So he might be AFK. Ooh, that was nice. Ah, that was nice again. Yeah, so... You know, notice how he's not... He's coming in... Ah, good delay. So he's coming in at the perfect time to hit it after the parry. He's like, notice how far he's sitting back. This is what you want to do when you're against someone who's bullying. I might end up just beating him uh, purely due to the lag. That's a little misconception people have about Lethal League, by the way. Uh, they think that lag isn't seen by the host. It is. Uh, if it's big enough, everyone's going to have lag. If you're fighting uh, like one of the really good players, or just someone who has ping out the butt. Uh, that smash angle I did there, you might say, you know, why are you smashing it in your own corner? Uh, especially on Candy, specifically on Candyman. Uh, that's a good question. It's because people know uh, pe uh, see, That's why dice is uh, ult so good uh, people know Candyman's angles up and down uh, They know them Uh, people know them very well, uh, so I, I use that smash angle because, I, you know, it sort of, it works or it doesn't work, right? And if it doesn't work, I adapt, right? One of the most important things to be able to do in Lethal League is adapt, right? If they're bullying you, adapt, play the angle, or adapt and bully better than they do. That's possible to do, I just don't advise it. Um, so, you know, adapt, adapt, adapt. And here, I'll go into training. Uh, I'll give you two drills for characters. Oh, that I'm going to play. I'll do a Candyman drill and a Raptor drill. Uh, I do these every time I feel like uh, playing the character. I'll do like five or ten minutes of this. I don't need to do it for Candyman anymore. I know him well enough. I do it for Raptor if I want to play Raptor. I'm not a very good Raptor, as you saw earlier. So, uh, here's a drill. Have it right here. And smash, 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 bunt, bunt, and then delay, delay. Right. And 
also make sure you set your energy to one because if you don't uh, you, you might run into a little bit of hiccups uh, to anyone wondering you can read that angle uh, I'm not very good at it uh, but I do know that you can read uh, the back down. I, I know you can hit it again. It might be a certain speed thing. It might be just below the can or the jawbreaker, candy ball, whatever you want to call it, reaches its max speed. Because it does have a max speed. Notice that candy. It's not moving at 7,000, right? Uh, so that's one drill for him. I'll give you one more. Uh, practice that. Right? Carry it to the ceiling. Also, practice taking that off your own angle. You saw I did it a few times. I took it off my own angle. Uh, one thing you can practice uh, is uh, this angle. Uh, if you hit it into your own corner, right, that delay... That will catch people better than you, because what you're supposed to do here, it basically it's like a fake. And that also is going to catch anyone that uh, is trying to read your spreads. Uh, practice that little corner juggle I did there. Also, notice it's not just, it, it mostly is, I'll be honest, uh, but it's not. Uh, and notice I'm mostly going for smashes. That's because I react better to high speed situations. But anytime I smash the ball after munting, Uh, you're, you're welcome, just use a normal attack. So, that's true. And you can do that on any character. I don't know how it works on them, but going in practice, that's what's important, being able to read your own ball, not just listening to what someone else tells you to do. And I'll show you the raptor drill, just real quick. But go on to your character, if it's not Candyman and Raptor, and you saw what I was mostly doing, right? Ball control with the bunts, and then hitting it with delay, right? Try that. Uh, so, my raptor drill is... Uh, uh, okay, I got Raptor down now. Uh, so it's 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 uh it's uh, it's that basically. I'm not as confident on it, that's why I can't talk while doing it or comment on stuff, but basically my raptor drill is that. Then... It's, you know, stand basically in the middle of the screen and just practice. Um, by the way, when you see me, uh, you can just hold down. You don't need to do anything special with that. It's not like a, a different input. Um, um, yeah, you just... 
to, to, to release it with a bunt, by the way, you just hold bunt for the dirt near the end or the entire duration, it doesn't matter. Also, don't forget to delay like this. Like that. So yeah, I'm doing the same. Right, and stuff like that, especially if you have ult, that can be devastating. Basically, I just, you know, I just get warmed up on, like, Raptor's angles and stuff. Uh, so go in and find that for everyone else. Find, like, Switch's angle that returns to him and practice hitting that and stuff like that. That's that's going to be it for advanced mechanics. I, I, I might just be having a little mind blank moment, not understanding everything, you know, not remembering. But as far as I know, there isn't any other special mechanic in the game aside from that. I'll tell him to you, Switch, uh, if you taunt in the air, it does his Lethal League 1 ability where he would double jump i'll show it to you real quick you probably already know this but just go in the air taunt and you get to decide which direction it goes in by the way it's not the direction you're facing it's whichever direction you wanted to go watch see uh, he no longer has well he sort of has it right it's just no longer done with jump he can still sit on the ground and do that, though. Uh, Doombox. Uh, Doombox's special ability, you have to have a full meter. Uh, there you go, sit on the ground and jump. And that hits the ball. It has delay. And yes, it does give you one uh, meter. Oh, and here's a Doombox BM technique. Uh, Doombox also has the easiest uh, body bunts in the game, by the way. Uh, I don't know how to do it on the ball as well, but he has the easiest body bunts in the game. Here's a BM tip. Hold down and uh, don't have ult and hold jump. And this isn't like me quickly doing it. He just makes like loud whooping sounds at you. It's fine. Uh, Doombox's whole thing, by the way, if you don't know or if you're wondering how he works, when he holds jump, he flies like this, just like he does in boss form, which means if you try to sit at his angle below him like that, right? If you try to sit there and steal that from him, he can then just fly over and hit it again, right? So there you go. That's I don't know of any other uh, mechanics in the game that I'm missing. Uh, Nitro can bunt out of special. Uh, you can mash X on Jet to uh, guard block someone. Uh, Sonata's ult can hit the ceiling. If it hits a wall, it ends. If it hits the ceiling, it keeps going. Um, Latch can bunt up, down, side to side, whichever direction out of his special. Um, Dice can do the same thing, but bunting down doesn't really do very much. Or maybe he can't bunt down, I forget. Uh, yeah, that's everyone. There's no other advanced... Oh, there's one more advanced mechanic, I guess. This doesn't mean anything, but this works on every character that had their appearance changed in Lethal League Blaze. You see how Candyman has a hat now? He didn't have that Lethal League one. If you hold up on the controller, and so hold up the whole time, and then press bunt and taunt at the same time, he'll take his hat off. Notice how it, like, kind of, uh, you know, disappears in his hand there and reappears. That applies to any character look different. Switch's hat turns backwards. Dice takes his hat off. I forget the other ones, but uh, some other people change too. Uh, next up is going to be character tutorials. Uh, I might not make one for Raptor purely because I don't feel I'm doing you guys justice. I'll play him for another few days. And if I can't maintain top 100 or really close to it with him, I just won't make it. Uh, I'll make a dice and latch one because even if I'm not the best at it, I do know what you're supposed to do. But I'll definitely make Candyman one, just, I love him. Uh, but yeah, there isn't any other real advanced mechanics that I know of, like, that I'm missing to tell you. Uh, so there you go, 99, right? Uh, so yeah, not the best, nothing like that. If someone else, I just don't know if Civil, Daiatsu, Dizzy, Monkey Hunky Banana, or Metrek make videos, 
go watch theirs instead. Every single thing I say, they're going to either say the same thing, but show it to you on screen better, or they're going to tell you things I didn't tell you, or they're going to edit their videos and actually make quality content instead of bare bones tutorial videos like I'm making now. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's, you know, that's all you need to know, basically. Uh, as I said, if you liked the video, thanks. I don't mean like on YouTube. I mean, if you enjoyed watching it, that's what matters to me. Uh, if you uh, want more videos, you know, just say the word. And like I said, at the end of the last one, if you didn't watch it, uh, uh, I might forget to leave a link to my Steam profile in the bottom. But if I don't, go to your achievements for Lethal League on Steam. Uh, to do that, just go to your page, go to achievements, find Lethal League, click the leaderboard button. It'll be on there somewhere. Click global leaderboards and go to page uh, six, seven, or eight. I forget which one. 15, it's like 90. So it should be uh, like seven or six, one of those usually. And uh, feel free to add me or just use the link if I leave one to add me. Uh, I will teach you the game. I'll teach you every single thing you want to know. We'll get Discord. I'll teach you anything you want. Or at the very least, I'll just sit there and practice with you if you already know and you just need to practice. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do whatever you need. I, I don't want to add new players to the game. Right? I mean, I'd love more players to come, you no know, new players, stuff like that. But what I mostly want is the people that do play every day. There's about two or 300 of them. I want them to get better because a lot of them, I don't find enjoyment in beating. And that's not me trying to be egotistical. I just don't enjoy beating number 400 a few times because he doesn't play the game uh, good enough to beat me right consistently so when he does beat me i just feel foolish and when i beat him it's not as satisfying or you know stuff like that right ideally i'd just fight daiatsu every single match right he's you know what i'm offering for you guys i wish daiatsu would offer that to me um so yeah there you go add me uh through whichever method depending on if i remember to leave it or not and uh i will play with you teach you the game teach you every single thing you want to know does not matter uh, there aren't any requirements for that. I just prefer if you have a mic. Uh, and if you don't speak English or, uh, you know, read English, uh, still just add me and uh, still teach him. Doesn't matter to me. You know, if we got, if uh, I'll just put on a podcast, listen to that while I teach you. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. If you already know what you want to do, you just need help practicing it. Do that too. Practice with you, teach you the game, do whatever you want. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video if you made it this far, or hopefully I taught you something if you didn't watch the whole thing. Uh, next are the character videos, and uh, you know, that's it. See ya.